Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can create dummy variables. So dummy variables are helpful whenever you are doing any machine learning task because all most of the machine learning or I would say all of the machine learning libraries basically takes the numerical data uh, from learning from the existing data and build a machine learning model on top of it after it has learned. But in a real world data set, there are chances or most of the times I would say you have the combination of numeric data as well as uh, categorical data. So data like uh, where you have let's say country information, products information, shipping information, all of that thing. So let's see this thing in action and I'll just show you uh, what I meant by that. So first of all, let's import our library which is import pandas. We are importing as pd so that we don't have to write pandas all the time whenever we are calling its functions or methods or properties so i'll just go ahead and execute that and i will write the what i'm doing is simply reading an excel file using pd.read excel function and uh, this is the path of the file and zero indicates that i want to read the first sheet of the workbook and then I am displaying the first two rows of the sheet by using order.head2. Alright, let's execute this and it will show us the two values. Alright, now you will see that we have columns like order priority. It contains the categorical data in character form. Similarly, shipping mode, then you have customer name, province, region. So most of the time things like uh, order priority as well as shipping mode gives us a lot of values. So generally their values are repetitive. So for each of the order whether it's low, high or medium what kind of priority is and like shipping mode, regular air, delivery truck or by some other mean. So these values are repeating and sometimes unveil a lot of valuable information about let's say for example you want to identify uh, you know those orders where your company is not having a good revenue from which shipping mode they have been shipped to or what have been the order priority so that you can identify the weights by learning from the data using a machine learning model and then move ahead with the uh, you know predictions so to learn it you need to convert the order priority or shipping mode or any other column of your interest into some sort of a numerical form and that's why you need to create dummy values so things like you assign low to zero high to one and some some other value to something else so what we do in case of dummy variables is uh, for each of the row we will identify the value low and assign it to the one and for rest of the call you know values like you have high or medium it will be zero so how you can do that i'll just show you an action so that you can better understand what i meant by uh, you know assigning the one and to rest of the zeros so rest of the values to zeros and there are two ways by which you can create dummy variables first way is to pick out the data series like in this case order priority and uh, create a dummy variables and then attach it back to the data set. So let's do that. So we will write pandas library pd dot get underscore dummies and then we will write the name of the data set and the column or the series. So series here is order priority and we will just get the first few observation and I'll press control enter and now you will see that for order priority it has given us a value for critical high low medium and not specified and for the first row for where the index is zero the priority is low and that's why the value is indicated as one so if i go back above and show you the first row so for zero index it is low and that's why it has been identified with one so for rest of the categories it is zero and all of these columns we need to add it to this data set so let's see uh, the same example with shipping mode just to get much better clarity so i will just copy this 
and uh, paste it over here and then instead of order priority i can use any other column so here in this case shipping mode ship mode and press enter and here is my now i've got my dummy values so for index zero this is the rev it has gone by regular air so that's why it is indicated by one and rest of the other categories are indicated as zeros so this is how it identifies and creates a new column uh, by taking it by converting into a numeric form so that the machine learning models can learn from the numeric data now one important thing to note that whenever we are creating the dummy variables so for example in this case delivery truck express air and regular air we will always take n minus 1 columns so we have value of n is here 3 1 2 3 because we have three columns and the value we will take is n minus 1 that means two the two columns we will consider so for example let's say if the if the shipping mode is not delivery truck in this case here it is zero so it is not delivery truck and it is not express air if none of these are present then by default it has to be regular air so because we know this already by identifying that it is not delivery truck and it is not express air it has to be regular air that's why we don't need this column and uh, that's also one of the requirement for the machine learning models as well so always remember that whenever you are uh, creating dummy variables and adding it to your data set always take n minus one values because this does not make any sense once you already know that the order has not been delivered by tra delivery truck or express air then it will obviously be the third option so how you can remove the first column and get back the uh, rest of the data well let's see this example here itself i'll just copy this entire piece and paste it over here i'll just go a little bit down and i'll remove the hat and one thing we need to do uh, where we select the rows which is iloc that means specifying the integer position to select the columns and rows and first we want all the rows so i will specify column that means i do not want to remove any row but let's say i want to remove this first column so i will write one index number one and colon and this will indicate start from the for columns start from the index position one which is this and go until the end and end is specified once we don't have anything over here it will go until the end if we specify let's say two it will go until here so let's say if you have rest of the other columns it will not take those but only those two ones since we don't have any any other column after that we will just you know uh, specify nothing after the column and let's take the head of it so that it is not showing us the entire data frame now as you can see the delivery tuck has been removed and we have express air and regular air so now in this case for index one express air is zero and regular air is zero so it has to be delivery truck and that's what the, that's what it is here so that's how you can identify that why you don't need one column and why you should always have n minus one values now let's take these dummy values and add it into the data set so for that uh, let's create the object which will contain this and after it is uh, having the dummy values let's add it into the data set now let's see pd that addition pd dot uh, concat and within this you will write orders comma ship underscore dummy because that's what and access is equals to one because you want to add columns and if I press shift tab tab and uh, you will see that it does not have in place column or the in place so what we need to do is we need to create store it into the object so orders is equals to and let's see the head all right uh, the column should be in the end so 
think it's pretty big so I'll just take two observation so that it's in one screen only and if I go to all right here all right because I added it two times so it has added it multiple times so we can remove that you know already by using the eye lock you can do that but uh, idea is I wanted to give you is this that uh, express air and regular air is added by using the concat function all right let's move ahead so next thing I want to show you that how you can achieve this entire piece in just one command so what we need to do is we need to write pd dot get underscore dummies and orders because that's where we want to do that and columns is equals to let's say I want um, order priority just to be in sync what we did earlier and I want ship mode all right and uh, so these these are the columns on which I want to create dummy values and I want to drop the first column so I will write true all right and use had two observations so enter and now you will see the order up priority is added order priority high order priority low order priority medium order priority not specified and uh, ship mode express air and regular air so from here to here these new columns have been created and added into your data set and i'll just sh i'll just see that uh, whether it has in place parameter or not so yeah you need to use again like this orders it's supposed to make the changes happen into your data set so that's about it uh, how you can uh, create dummy values and uh, go ahead with the machine learning task so that's pretty much all i have and i'll meet you in the new video the new topic